Why did you friend zone certain girls? What you're telling me confirms that it's pretty much the same between male and female. Girls could be friend zone because. Good morning, everybody. It is my first official day as a freelancer. No more calls, no more meetings, no more emails just for a day. <laughs> it's a little weird, but more so exciting. And I'm just gonna enjoy this little tiny taste of freedom I have right now. to make tea with. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I want to show you guys this gift that I received from, I don't know how to pronounce this, Om, Om Som. It says on the back here that the flavor is created by the owner of Mala Project in New York City, which is actually one of my favorite spots in the Lower East Side. I have been obsessed with this feed. It's already at the setting that I like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and it's gonna basically set the water to 140 degrees. And I'm gonna put this guy in here for two hours and it gives you the juiciest chicken you'll ever eat in your life. Time to check on the chicken. Oh my god. What is this? Snip? Yo. Yo, I'm How so you happy know? you got this. Thank you. How do, so? how do we know each other? We met through Alex, yeah, but I sure. don't remember how. I feel like this is a time <clears throat> when Alex was meeting a lot of people in Long Island and connecting them with people in Queens somehow. Yeah. And I feel like you were one of those yeah. people. I always like to describe people like me and Alex as kind of like a Queens Long Island hybrid. Yeah, no, Alex <laughs> That's is so perfect funny. Perfect no, definition that is. of that. Cause like really we is. were like all born in Queens and like socially raised in Queens, but we right. didn't go to school in Queens. I grew up with like the Queens quote unquote struggle. It wasn't like super inner city and hood, but yeah. it came with like the immigrant struggle yeah versus long island where you're a little bit comfier exactly. and like set up yeah so i definitely even though i lived in long island i didn't live that comfy life at all and that's where frieza also found her hustle because that shit comes from queens man queens baby. <laughs> i can't pinpoint the exact mutual friend that introduced us or like the first interaction even but the first time i heard of you was like through my girlfriends mm -hmm. when was that like, yeah like it was early high school early yeah. high school like yeah. sophomore year from i wish i could remember more during yeah. that time yeah i didn't know too much about you i just knew what girls were trying to mac on <laughs> <laughs> i've been hanging out a lot with non-new yorkers lately what do you think is distinct about being raised in New York, especially Queens and like New York City. Uh, so I can't really speak to the struggles that other people face the way that we face it. But I think if you're from Queens or New York especially, and if you frequented Manhattan as a Queens resident, mm -hmm. like, you know, go, going from Queens <clears throat> to Manhattan, you always see a grind. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I really feel like that's where like a, a hustle starts yeah. to build in your mind. Yeah. And that I really feel like that's something that New Yorkers kind of grow into yeah. and if you're born here it's kind of innate especially when you start going to the city more and seeing that kind of lifestyle yeah, more yeah. it starts making you want to be yeah. on a grind be yeah. on a hustle you get exposed to a lot at a younger age yeah. i feel like right? i think that's one thing about being from new york too that i noticed i feel like we grow up fast 
compared yeah, to like sure. compared to like everyone else that I've met, I'm like, oh, I hit these milestones like years before you did. But when we talk about like example, like when we first drank or something. Oh yeah. yeah like yeah. we hit that when we're like third. Not that it's a brag, but it's just the reality of yeah, it. Yeah. We hit that it's like, like what, do you, 12, what else is there to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I try my first. Like cigarette. our parents are always freaking working, so yeah. like we're just trying you to get, like fill get... time yeah. and like. And like friends sort of become thing. family at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's obviously so true because we're still hanging out today. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> these guys have been in like super long term relationships. Like how long, how many years for you now? Four years Damn. and 11 months. Almost basically five years. I'm almost yeah, at eight years. years. Eight years? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it's been that long? Yeah. Holy. I mean, when you guys were dating years ago. <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Why did you friend zone certain girls? There's one obvious one. You're not attractive physically that's what that could be one factor but i think a lot comes into play when actually considering like the whole picture and that's such a good question how so yeah do you know a girl's like yo i have so much interest in you like i really like have been thinking about you a lot but you're like damn she's so nice but like something about her like i i i don't feel the same mm. why don't you feel the same Personally, for me, it's like you feel more like a bro to me right now. And if that's the case, and I'm that comfortable with that person, then I'm like, all right, like you a homie, like you're you're friend zone. But why? why? What do they do that makes that puts them in that home category? For me, it's about how I personally, how much I personally feel um, comfortable with them, how how comfortable I feel with them. Mm -hmm. And if I feel that I'm so comfortable, as comfortable mm -hmm. I am as with my boys, mm -hmm. then that's when you're in the friend zone. And that's when it's kind of hard for you to leave from yeah, that yeah, yeah. place. I'm <laughs> smiling because it brings me to the point that I want to make about mm -hmm. friend zoning. Okay. What you're telling me confirms that it's pretty much the same between male and female mm. aside from like not being attracted because if you're not attracted you're not attracted that's just right. like something that you know you can't help mm -hmm. but i feel like friend zone happens because you immediately skip to comfort oh and you miss and everything in between. you miss the first stage of courtship and mm -hmm. like kind of like wooing and flirting the other way around to you guys at least for me the guys that i know that get friend zoned all the time they're the type of guys that want to be the shoulder to cry on for girls. Ooh. So they skip the macho courting phase where right. it's like, I'm this guy that can like take care of your needs or like, I'm this guy that will be there for you. I'm this guy that has all these values. Mm -hmm. You're completely skipping the courtship phase and like the sh like the chivalry. the chivalry or like the, the the stage where you show off like why you're a high value man right. you're completely skipping that and going straight for comfort yeah and so that's true. why you're immediately friend zone i think a lot of guys at least make the mistake of this is like a wrong way of thinking it's like oh like she should start liking me because I am that shoulder to cry on I'm there for her I'm there to listen to her problems like I'm there to like be that comfortable guy that she can always come to so she should come around one day and start liking me <laughs> you're saying guys guys guys, guys, think that, guys that get friend zone think that way no hundred percent it's like she will come around because I'm doing so many things for her. Oh, okay, okay. She's gonna yeah. come around because I'm always there for her. Because I'm always, always gonna there. hang out with her. I'm always gonna like. Just, but be that's there like, to, like that's almost her. like that's almost like you're sitting and waiting for dinner to be served. Exactly. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. But that's why guys they play themselves like that. Yeah, they're playing themselves. Yeah. playing them. Other way around for girls that get friend zone, I feel like girls could be friend zone because. They're immediately trying to be like, I'm one of the guys. Like I, I, I could get, I understand you at, a, mm. at, a, at another level. Oh, like okay. I'm not like other girls. I could, I could understand you at like a bro level, yeah. and that should be impressive. It's, it's giving off this vibe, and it's like, oh, you want to talk about other girls, even though I'm interested in you? Okay, I'm all ears. Tell me about your girl problems. Oh, so that's how they that's start getting into the friend zone too, because they're gonna be willing to, true. they're gonna be willing to listen to your like girl problems. And then they're just like digging themselves into a deeper hole. That no, that's very true. And I feel like if they, that's so funny that you mentioned that. But the, if they jump into that tactic, I definitely would like 
you know, probably be friend zoning, friend zoning them, yeah. or being like, yo, somebody go wife this girl. Yeah. Like, I feel like it would be one or the other. There's no one size fits all answer to getting out of the friend zone for sure. Definitely. Because everybody is different. Case, yeah. yeah. But I think generally, going back to my point about like jumping into comfort, mm. I think that's, again, generally yeah. speaking, the biggest reason why people in general are. Friend zone. That'd be a little mysterious. Yeah, I you guess, have to. You, know? you like, have to you have go to through some... the mating call phase, like yeah, where it's like exactly. these are my feathers. Like, these are the colors that yeah, I have. I can't <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of starting Game of Thrones. I am one of the few that have never watched Game of Thrones. Okay, that's a lie. I've watched like the first three episodes, but I just like couldn't get into it. So I want to give it another shot. It could be like a really good show to binge watch. 